and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Uh, we're back with Jeff tonight. Uh, for anyone who missed yesterday's uh, lovely rebirth of Jeff, um, <laughs> she came out swinging. We were. Hello and welcome oh, no. to Fallout New Here Vegas. Here I go again, apparently uh, setting myself off for an echo. Fantastic start, as always. Well, that lasted long with my reign in this game. I was wondering how long it would run uh, before I started doing that. Oh well. Anyway, um, with Jeff, she came out swinging. She uh, got shot in the head and a doctor resurrected us. And then a town um, where we were resurrected in uh, turned on us for no reason we can tell. Uh, it may have possibly had something to do with a spear being thrown in somebody's head, but who's to say what went down? Anyway, Jeff then went and made a robot be the sheriff of a new town, and uh, currently she is still wandering the wastelands trying to figure out who shot her and why. So we will be joining her on that. Uh, I hope everyone is doing super well. Let me just get the game up. Ah, hey Droba, how's it going? Uh, and Barry, uh, let me just bring up the game. Just takes a moment. It's still, even though I've got the mods on it, it still doesn't like tabbing sometimes. <laughs> double the Talos. Just double the senseless murder. <laughs> oh gosh. That would be an interesting me versus me type game. Like, you'd have no idea what was happening. Uh, let's load in. And good springs. So I did, um... I did sort of uh, do a little bit of selling some stuff off and trying to figure out the, um... Uh, the recipes and stuff. So if anyone has, uh, hey Stu, how's it going? Hopefully good. Um, yeah, let's t let's bet. What bets are you going to place today, everyone? Um, Barry sets the predictions up. You guys are free to like offer ones to him as well. Um, I try to not know as much about them as possible, um, just to make whatever the prediction is as real as it can be. Um, so we did the other thing, like, yes, I jumped in a little bit to look at the recipes and that. So if there are any recipes that you guys really want me to try aim for, or focus on getting stuff for, let me know and I can make a note of it. Um, it's a little bit weird, but I'll get used to it. <clears throat> um, uh, Deputy Beagle would like help finding a new sheriff for Prim. I should look for someone that has some experience. I think we already did that one, because I realized that we didn't go through any of the data we had. Um... Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash in small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Huh. Did we? Did we already? Oh my. What? Is that? What is going on? What? I am very... What? Um... I'm not having a breakdown, right? That Hey Sphinx, how's it going? Oh my god, oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you for the bit, Sphinx! Oh my goodness gracious, that got me so bad then. I was so confused. I thought my game was breaking or something was happening. I was... Oh goodness gracious! Well played, sir. Well played. Oh, uh, and so you're in the progress of making Tommy Why so in, blood in Bloodborne. It's a sad experience. <laughs> That sounds absolutely hilarious. Uh, we actually watched the because we watched the room the other night um, and, and on the Discord uh, that I, I have for this channel, and that's such a funny funny coincidence. You're making the Tommy Wise so. Oh gosh. Um, Good Spring Schoolhouse. Actually, yes, that's because I remember there was a safe. So if you want to see your wife, I get okay. That can't be right. There we go. Sunny Smiles told you that the old Good Spring Schoolhouse contains a safe, which no one in town has been able to crack. She had provided you with some bobby pins and a copy of the magazine Locksmith's Reader in case you wanted to take a shot at opening the safe. So, we are going to do that. The ransom note, I'm kind of like, well, we kind of murdered everybody in Bison, Steve, but I can go have another look. Uh, on Tuesday. Oh, on Tuesday. So if we maybe wait for a Tuesday, it can happen. How to play Caravan. Well, I don't like to be negative about things. So let's go with... Um, Caravan just isn't to my taste, so we'll be ignoring that one. And these are just the Mojave Express instructions. Okay, so it's basically just the schoolhouse. Hi. Uh, hello, how is it going, Bab? Um, the name came from Bloodborne. Interesting. Hey, Sam Skikong, how's it going? Uh, so, 
your, your favorite your 11 year old game this yeah a lot of people are very big fans of this one is this your favorite of the um of all the fallout series the new vegas one uh because it's i i recently finished fallout 3 and i loved it and so far even though i've only done one of like one stream of it so far in uh new vegas i'm already just so jiving with this the throwing spears are to die for as some villagers are uh, found out so this is the this is a schoolhouse right like it looked like a schoolhouse um yes good spring schoolhouse so okay that wasn't hard at all like there's a safe right there was that the mysterious safe that i my note was going after huh easy peasy um we'll just take all of what the oh hang on hang on, hang on. i wanted vats there They have giant prey mantises in this one. When we do the monster battles again, that is going to be hilarious. Okay, I, I actually like the wildlife upgrades they've done. That is something I'm very, very much enjoying on this. Can I take your meat? Oh, I can take your four legs, that's nice. So Fallout 2 has to be your favorite game, um, but this is very close. Oh, that's really interesting. So that's like more Fallout, um, Fallout and Fallout 2, they're more, uh, the ones that were like, not the 3D, they're like more 2D, right? That's interesting. Um, go, go, get you killed at least once. <laughs> Bam, is that so much a goal or just a, um, just an expectation with how I play this game? Oh god, is it just the story that you really like, um, Samsky? Or like just the sort of the world in general, the whole Fallout vibe? Because I did see that people had made role-playing games of it, like D&D versions, but for Fallout, and I'm like, I'm really keen to try one of those. Oh, okay, so we've got an error on the computer there. Just because the universe, like, you know, it's all that the very Mad Maxi kind of universe thing, but you've got this sort of extra, all these very mutated monsters going on. Like the Death Claws, the lovely, lovely Death Claws. I'm just going to take that glove. I have no reason not to take the glove at this stage. <laughs> oh, was that it? Wow, the schoolhouse is kind of uh, not a lot to it, is there? Like that's open door to Good Springs. Okay, I totally thought we'd we'd have more stuff in there, but that's that's perfectly fine. Um, I did realize that since the townspeople were chasing us mercilessly last time, we didn't really explore much of this area. <gasps> you, you. Do you know who the, these men were who attacked me? You hired us for this. <clears throat> Hmm. I thought there was something we could have done to him. In town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Mm. For everyone voting, note the last stream ended up with only three innocents killed. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's a right um, town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Obsidian, you... I honestly, Sam, um, Samsky could not disagree with you there, like... I, I'm not finding really anything to that's detracted from my my experience so far. Like Fallout 3 was fantastic. Um, the only problem I had was I couldn't eat enough uh, sentient beings, but that was a side note. Um, but yeah, so I, I think they've, they've really done it off and I've just heard New Vegas just gets better and better. Um, what about Myers though? Don't don't kill Victor. Uh, I, well, I can't actually do anything to him other than like attack him outright and I've already made this town mad enough. So I'm definitely going to leave him alone. Oh. Hi, Samsky. Um, so we do cannibalism on this channel. And uh, <laughs> my only gripe, because it hells, it's aggressive med packs. You heal after eating people. So we sort of rely, we've actually already hit cannibalism on this one. Um, and so the problem was I was annoyed that we couldn't eat super mutants or anything like that, because that's a lot of protein. And so, Bam, you think I should go, n was that north through the can? Hang on, I swear I saw something there. You should go north through the canyon. Yes, Samsky, that was me on the TikTok clip. <laughs> if you've seen the aggressive med packs, that is from my Fallout 3 play. <laughs> and it's, it's sort of um, what everyone on the channel has adopted as the way to go. You tried to let Victor rust at the bottom of the lake, but he got out. How did you get him into the lake, Bam? Um, I, I love how I'm like, oh yeah, I'll go north through a canyon, goes nowhere. So I think we before we do any of that, we do still have to talk to the guy in... Um, do you know what? I was meant to look at a house then, and I just got completely 
give me one second. I'm so sorry, everyone. I just got completely like, I want to go look at this house I haven't explored and got completely described. This is why we don't Jeff and chat, damn it. <laughs> Um, so yes, these are, these are unfortunately the people who, yeah, I honestly, my favorite upgrade so far has got to be the, um, actually, oh no, I didn't want that, Ugh. has got to be, I think, either the spears or the dynamite, because they are just so super swell. I really, really enjoy the dynamite. Yes, it was this way that the house was, that I, like, there was a tiny little house that I don't think I'd looked at yet. So I wanted to... Oh no, hang on, this way, this way, because the... Yes, okay. We're going in a direction. It's all good. Uh, we are doing World Wastelands too, so we definitely have that one on. Um, Don't go north through the canyon. Do it. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling, Bam, you're, what, you're trying to get me to, to go to a swift death? Um, As long as she saves first. This is true. Um... If you can repair them, they, they give big money. Oh, take any uh, DB shotgun, so if I repair them, they give me big money. Okay, okay. Go north. Like, <laughs> go north, Talisand. Go north. Yes, this is what I wanted to look at. I don't think I'd been in here. Uh, all right, so as in go directly north from where I am now? Is that what you guys are wanting? Or are you wanting me to... Because we've still got to talk to someone in Prim, but I'm happy to go for a bit of adventure north before we do that, if you all like. Um, I don't mind. Uh, so we'll take all of that and we'll take you as well Not too much going on here. Oh, hang on. I want the R box cleaner just in case So the other thing is like when you did mention the weapons because I grabbed that specifically to Because I thought you know, I want to arm myself with dynamite. I absolutely love dynamite um, There we are. Yes, I thought I had a few and so shotguns are worth money. Hey, that's good to know uh, uh, you need two of each weapon to, to, oh, you play full at three. I, <laughs> I carried all of the weapons. Just running, you might be fine. All right, this is going to be interesting. Uh, hey, Julie Will, um, no problem. You have a question what might be a little bit of a spoiler. So if you just, um, it's, it's about human companions. That should be fine. I can't see anything going particularly... Uh, I don't think it would be very spoily. I've been told a bit about the companions. So as long as it's not story-based, um, that should be fine. Uh, just confirming with everybody that we wanting me to go north from where I am now. So just head up that way. I mean, I can. I think. Though that looks like there's a canyon. Uh, hang on. So north, like that way. Okay, well, I'm going to head north then, everybody, if that's what you're wanting right now. Um, straight to the strip, fastest way. Cass or Boone? I don't... Is that, like, as a general to the chat, what people like before who, who they prefer? Because I don't... I literally am, like, only about three hours into the game, so I haven't actually met anyone who could be companion yet. Boone? The landmarks are the giant bugs all the way. <laughs> hey, Sir David, how's it going? Apparently north. They want me to go to go north, so I'm doing north-ish. <laughs> I don't know what's out there. Actually, why I do that? Why don't I actually hit a, a legitimate save? Just because the the sheer excitement of um of chat has me a little bit wary of going north there. Hey, Virginia Jackal, how's it going? We um we are heading north apparently. Uh despite the fact that we're supposed to talk to somebody in Prim. Okay, Boone at it. <laughs> okay, so Boo Boo uh, uh, This is the problem. I see you guys talking about really interesting things and I want to ask you, but it's obviously a spoiler if you tell me. Oh good, there's a keep out sign everybody. This won't end with us. Oh right, snap. We have to eat a bunch more people to get that perk, don't we? Um cuz there's a few. What is the symbol? Uh I don't know what the symbol is, actually. I was wondering it myself. Um, because a few people have it, and I don't recognize it. Um, me, I'm going pretty good, Revered. Um, we, we, we've... We've, we're, so far, the New Vegas has been an experience. We've met some giant bugs, um, some chaos has been caused, and some people got accidentally, um, voided of life in a manner which, uh, was unexpected, and that turned some people against us. Pay attention. Oh, you know what? Dynamite's probably not the best option here. Do you think I can win with that? Kazador Frenzied? Kazador Frenzied? That's not a thing I want to hear. The okay. 
Oh my god, did it? You are a little woozy. What did it do? What have you done, chat? Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, hi. You need to be careful. Hi, hi, Victor. Uh, how did you know I was in trouble? I can smell trouble a mile away. Huh. I'll try to remember that. Does he just mysterious stranger and turn up? The save? Oh, yes. Running is the only option with those. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. What is... Chat would never give bad advice. I'm so concerned. She can... Is this... Are you following me? I saved your life, so I kind of feel responsible for you is all. Okay. Goodbye. Well... Well, look, if he's going to turn up, I'll take it. So, we've, we've gone up. Um, I'm actually inclined to sort of go melee weapons, but I am just using dynamite. So maybe I should put some more into explosives. What a silly sentence. Like, hey, guys, I was thinking of doing this immediately. And we want more in repair. And we want to put more into speech. Done. Okay. Well. So we got some poison glands. There's a female mysterious stranger in this game. Is it really a female mysterious stranger? Can I get both? Like, wait, wait, is it actually just mysterious stranger but female? It's fine. What was that? Oh, my health is dying. Oh no, my health. Oh shoot. Um, this is not good. Uh, this is the opposite of what we want. And we'll take some dirty water as well. Oh, guns plus 10. Yep, let's read that. Oh, that's right. And we're still having to do drugs, aren't we? Um, because we want to get that perk. Anti-venom. Cure animal poison. Is that what's happened? Am I poisoned? Effects. Oh, shoot. I am super duper poisoned, aren't I? Uh, so let's use the anti-venom. Yay! Poison removed. Okay. Is it, is it necessary for Cazadors? Okay. Related to the strange... And there's a mission related... Oh, that's so interesting, Bam. I cannot wait to do that. Watch... Thank you, Droba. Yes, watch my health. I almost kept walking then. Um, Kazador... Okay, so it's super deadly. So maybe dynamite against them isn't the, my best bet. Um, let's use the single shotgun then. Okay. I still need to recover so bad. Righto. Off we go into the... No! I wonder how long it's going to take me to get there. Or if I can't even... This is a really... Oh, gosh! That actually was quite effective. Wow! Uh, no, 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 sir. You do not come near me. All right, we're just going to shotgun our way through this to the city, I guess. Um, that's an option. Oh, gosh. I assume that their gland poison can be sold for quite a bit. Um... Oh! Oh my gosh! Was that crow eating a person? What a wonderful effect! Well, that's just great! And, and, we get some more health, everybody! I mean, it's probably a little bit net manky, but, um, this is fine. Kill the crows, that's a baby one. Don't go over there. What? But why not? I guess it isn't north. Danger? What's danger? Oh, there's more bugs. Oh, no. Huh. This is going to end interestingly, isn't it? Um. No, 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 not my body. Not my body. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I like this way. I don't think I like it at all. Okay, I feel like perhaps... Things are not going to turn out well for us. Um, especially... Oh, gosh. Eat the rot, eat the rot. Okay, hang on. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. These things are nasty. Oh, and my leg is damaged. And Jeff is dead. Well, if you kept running... Not to alarm you, but you hear but run. <laughs> Hello, Karma, as well. How are you going? Um, and Simpson, as well. Hi. Uh, 
Okay, so this was danger, danger, danger. So you guys said to go north. So that's this way through that hill. I guess I could go around. That way didn't seem good. Oh gosh, okay. Let's keep going. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Okay, 95. Blow its head off, Jeff. Yes. Oh, almost. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, your friend is coming. Stupid friend. Oh, no. Don't look at me. That's right. That's right. Go the other way. You don't see me at all. No. No. Oh, my goodness gracious. That was... I just got double teamed. Okay. I'm not going to survive this one, am I? No, I'm not. And Jeff is gone again. Um... And put on light armor. I don't think I have any other kind of armor there, bam. Um. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's right. If I put the gun away, then I go faster, don't I? Run, Jeff, run. <laughs> okay. They're still coming, though. Find the man who tried to kill you. I feel like, I don't know if this is going to work. This is just very desperate fleeing at this. Oh, my God. What the heck is up there? And I am feeling a little woozy. And there are more bugs. I am sprinting, but I do not know if this will work. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, okay, so we're just going to have to go and do everything that's possibly a... Is that doing anything? What did I... Okay. So that... that I didn't need that at all. Day Trooper, use addictive tentacles. Well, we're almost there. Uh, restore all body parts, because I think we got one of our body parts broken as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, keep going, Jeff. You can do this. Oh look, a settlement. I'm fairly sure to use the 9mm MSG to keep running. <laughs> oh my god. You have to like run, fight. No, just keep running. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Where? <laughs> will I know when I know where I'm running to? Like when I effectively get somewhere, will I know? Now seems like a very good time to run, Revered. A very, very good time to run. Oh my gosh. Come on, Jeff. Come on. I don't like being poisoned. You have discovered Bonnie Springs. Fantastic. Oh, goodness. Great, 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 great. And now there's people shooting at me. Okay, just keep going north, Jeff. And there's an explosion. You know what? Let's not look back. We can come here later, everybody. We can come here later when we're less filled with death. Um, let's do another super stim pack. And why not some ordinary ones? Remember when we had... Why is this happening? Why are things exploding? Right, so north was definitely a terrifying way to go. Stop chasing me. I'm running away. Oh my gosh, okay. I know, right? Straight into the bandits. Straight into the bandits. Oh gosh, okay. On the plus side, things seem to have left. Well, I made it without dying five times. <laughs> Was that the prediction? Oh gosh. Okay. Though, speaking of that crow, that was, uh... Oh golly, that flayed body up there. That crow that was just eating the, the carrion there. Have you guys ever heard of the bearded vulture? Because it is intense. So the bearded... I think I see where I'm meant to be heading. And there is... Oh my gosh, no! Okay. You know what? No, I can take geckos. I can take geckos. I could just hear something behind me then. And I was like, what is that? Um, Single shotgun. I think that does the most damage of anything I've got. All right, time to blow your face off. It did nothing. It's a fire gecko. What? No, 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 no. I remember the fire ants. Screw that. We're just running. Put the gun away, Jeff. Put the gun away. You don't need it out. You just need to flee. Just run. There is a city there. We can find safety. Come on, New Vegas. Oh my good Lord. Okay, keep going. Keep going, Jeff. I can just hear them behind me. Oh, uh, wait, 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 I don't know if we have, hang on, armor, 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 yeah, we've only, we've already got lightweight, light, lightweight armor, so the only thing I could really do is, um, is to take it off, hang on, am I, yes, I'm fine, okay, let's keep going, we're almost there, we can see it, oh gosh, but yeah, the, um, the bearded vulture, uh, it's diet. It doesn't really like meat, 
Its diet consists of 85 to 90% bone marrow. And um, it will drop a bone like over 50 times just to crack it open enough to keep getting the marrow. It's a super intense vulture and would fit perfectly in with this entire universe of Fallout. Um, fun fact, it appears red, but that's because it decides to bathe in red dust. For reasons people can't don't know about, it seems to be purely cosmetic. And someone else is shooting at me. Absolutely brilliant. Let's keep going. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Run past the bandits. Nope, they're not... You don't care about bandits. Don't look back. Just keep going. Cool guys, don't look at bullets. That's that whole thing. Keep going. Oh, dear lord. How much death have I just run through? Is this New Vegas? No, it's something else. This isn't even New Vegas. I thought maybe with that big spire, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Oh, god. Where am I even running to? More north. Oh, dear. Damn. Well, at least this is a way to mark things off on the map, I guess, everybody. Bird and suck. Oh, gosh. We sound the sunset sarsaparilla. And I'm assuming that you guys need me to keep running north at this point. So, Dada. Northern pa Passage. Is that what we're looking for? I'm guessing that's what you guys are looking for. I'm just going to hit a save. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, close to you for a full auto laser SMG. Uh, Bam, I totally would if I hadn't desperately put everything into just fleeing right now. Um, I'm assuming you guys are wanting the northern pass. No, you're good here? I'm good here. Keep <laughs> keep going. Go to one of the giant doors. Of... Of where? Like... Hang on. Okay. Right, so we've hit here. We are at a safe spot. So what I might do is um of the strip giant tower open your map walk around the wall until you find it big empty rectangle hang on so do you mean right right hang on hang on i'm assuming that it's somewhere on the local like as in these walls you want me to go into the factory is that what you're wanting south side of that uh well, south you must side really okay like me Oh, wow! Leo, one, hello, and two, thank you so much for the gifted sub. That's super awesome of you. Um, and to Sir David as well. <laughs> oh, gosh, there's there's people there. There are people there. Uh, these are big doors. I'm going to touch those. You wanted big doors. I've given you big doors. Um, no problem. Hello, Sophie. How is it going? I'll just put that there for a second. You have the power, Sir David. Uh, but again, thank you. Oh, my gosh, Leo, thank you so much. It's so very generous of you to do that. Um, enjoy not having any ads, uh, Sir David, and um, using the Jeff emotes, because there's a couple new ones there. And if you did end up joining the Discord, when I do do my, um, my uh, railroaded games, um, the subs get to kind of do a vote for that. Um, but yeah, that, that's another benefit of it. Um, <laughs> thank you, Leo. Was it my run, my mad run through the northern part of this map that, that uh, was a really convincing today? I thought it was a great start, uh, a great way to, to get into it. Um, <laughs> welcome to, that was, um, what is that? I think about 20 minutes in and we had chaos pretty much straight away. Oh goodness gracious, is this like the Nuka-Cola factory? Because I remember the Nuka-Cola factory. For those who missed it in Fallout 3, uh, oh, what? Festus. Wait! So, I'm sorry, Festus is the guy they were talking about that's meant to be guarding the treasure with the blue bottle caps, correct? And he's a broken, terrifying, quite frankly, robot? Interesting. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Um, yes, Sophie, we went north and we met terrifying bugs. Um, <laughs> there's so, okay, let's meet Festus. What is this dude? Oh yes, so I mean the Cazadors. 
Didn't you talk to the Trudy? Oh. Oh. So, um, so David, we did talk to Trudy temporarily. However, Trudy didn't make it um, due to reasons that could not be applied to Jeff at all. Um, so unfortunately, we haven't had a lot of conversations with Trudy as she is no longer with Good Springs or um, existence. Um, what is Quarry Junction? Uh, I didn't tell you it was called Cazador Canyon. <laughs> To be fair, ma'am, I probably still wouldn't have known. Um, I feel lucky. What's well, this? this your first rodeo with the old horseshoes. Say, how do I play? Otherwise, say, lucky horseshoes to begin. My instinct is go, I know how lucky horseshoes play, but let's... Lucky horseshoes. Not more cards. Cards number two through ten and aces, which have a value of one. You and old... A lot more mini games in this. Okay, sure. Okay, yes, we know how we know how this works. So Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna let us actually play it. Lucky horseshoes. Uh draw. Looks like you got a nine, oh, okay. Oh, Festus is going to Oh, Festus. I guess draw. So we're 14. He's 15. Uh, let's draw. Okay. We got three bottle caps. You know what? I'm done. No, no, I didn't mean to play it again. Shoot. I didn't mean to play it again. We're playing it again, everyone. Uh, here an interesting fact. Okay. Um, give me one moment. Uh, Kazadol's all dead. It was either Seth Rock. This is true. Oh, new, new, they're different, are they, Sir David? Are they more dangerous, or? Another, <laughs> I, I just, okay. I actually don't know what. All right, come on. Let's do another one. I don't even know what my total is at this point. Okay, your turn, partner. Draw, hold. Uh, let's hold. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm done. I'm done with that. Let's not misclick. So, Simpson, you wanted to hear an interesting fact. Okay, so, uh, interesting fact, I guess. Um, what? What? Hang on, hang on. Targets identified. Okay, that's absolutely terrifying. I don't. Resistance is Who is speaking to me? I'm so sorry, Simpson. You, will... I would definitely give you an interesting fact once I figure out what's, um, what is attempting to attack me. Maybe nothing. Okay, that will be a problem for a moment. I can just t tab into there. Um, okay, so you know Superman, right? So, uh, interesting fact about basically Superman. So. Everyone knows the one of the most iconic things about him is the flying. It's like the whole like, you know, man like that, children imitate it. It's actually very popular. But Superman originally actually wasn't able to fly. Um, that when he was first created, back in like 1938 or something like that, he um his only power near it was basically jumping really, really high. So he could the whole leap toward buildings with a single bound was because that was his billy. He couldn't fly. Um, it wasn't until about 1943 when they were actually animated him into um, TV shows that they uh, put flying as his ability because the animators didn't want to have to do bending knees, unbending knees over and over again. It was much easier just to draw him doing this motion and flying across the sky. Um, so basically, that, that iconic thing of his was a later power they introduced. And with Superman, they actually had a couple of different powers that they were playing with early on. Um, he actually used to be able to um, control people telepathically. 
so he could just make you do whatever he wanted. So they toyed around with him doing that. But my absolute favorite thing that they actually gave him early on um, was originally they were going to give him the ability to physically change his face. So that was going to be his disguise. Now, remember, what happened was they, they went, let's give him glasses and he can have the Clark Kent alter ego. And then at some point, one of them turned around and be like, maybe we should make it so he can physically change his face. And everyone else collectively went together. No, no, no. The glasses are enough. Very, very different person here. Um, so yes, that is, that is uh, interesting facts about Superman. I hope you enjoyed them, Simpson. Um, uh, yeah, lazy but brilliant animators, Sobe. It's all thanks to animators that you have uh, Superman's iconic powers. Which is much stronger than Earth's. The only reason he can fly economically is that he's <laughs> indeed, like the, the whole ca canonically thing. Exactly, they, they make up a lot of things. I, this is true, Sir David. Maybe they never actually took out the mind control thing. Maybe he's, he's still doing it. Who are you talking to? I, I know, obviously, he's coming for me. But, well, okay, so I'm very, um... Is it, is it you? Can I just take your batteries out and you'll stop? Uh, okay, sure. You can just keep doing that. I think it's time for a weapons change, though. Uh, a little bit over the... That thing. Um... I really want to go back to that. Let's go with our, our machete. This can't end badly for us, right? Only good things happen when I get into enclosed spaces with people. Uh, but yes, the um, when we went to the Nuka-Cola factory in Fallout 3, it was a hellscape we got trapped into. And um, <sighs> There you are! I knew you had to be somewhere. Oh golly, well that's okay. We've got heaps of sarsaparilla now. So let's use our soda just to up ourselves and we can go straight support. after them. Uh, thank you so much for the follow there, Sir David. That's very awesome of you. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we'll just go here and grab the robot, I guess. Uh, uh, okay, maybe not. Um, oh, that was easy. Just critical striked him out, didn't we? Um, Carbonara Jack, how can I come up with such random? Um, so, some of it I just, I, I spent, the, if you redeem an interesting fact, like the actual redemption one, it, I actually do have lists that I make of those and I renew them, but um, all the other ones, like the vulture birds and stuff like that, it's just stuff that I kind of uh, learn about. I spend a lot of my time um, going into research holes. So I'm one of those annoying people who like, they're like, but why? And then they actually go and research the information and find out. Um, so I generally uh, end up just coming up with a lot of, of strange things that I learn about, um, which is a lot of fun. Uh, oh gosh. And you can find some really weird things as well about the world, to be honest, when you start looking into it. Though I did actually find out, I don't know if you guys know this, so you know the Sony PlayStation? When it was originally, like some of you may know this, when it was originally released um, in America, there was actually quite a few problems with the controller. Uh, and Amer like, cause a lot of Americans were like, oh, the, the thing's too small, we can't um, do the buttons, it's not great. And so they ended up having to re-release the controller again because they'd done a survey and it turned out that American hands were about 10% larger than the Japanese hands. And so the controllers were just physically uncomfortable. Um, which was obviously a major drawback for Sony. That was a lot of crits, I know, right? I have approximate knowledge. <laughs> yep. I have approximate knowledge of many things. It is a very good. Oh gosh. Uh, oh no, no, I want the cigarettes. I want the cigarettes. Come here. Let's go and take you. Oh no, there's bottle caps there. I love how I often just double tap out of it, and then when it's actually junk, I I won't, I will take everything without hesitation, every single time. Hey, what actually happened to our hockey mask? Now that I think about that, we were incredibly lovely dressed before, so I dumped that on the floor. This is what happened to our hockey mask. Um, there you go. Oh, we can't wear sunglasses. What a shame. Oh, excellent, and a safe. Spot on. Wait, did that say assassination? No, assistant. Okay. I was like, what, there's assassination bots now? And we need a lockpick of 50, everybody. Of course we do. Because nothing is easy in this game. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your sign skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If you guess incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct... Yes, excellent, guys, we get to play the terminal game. I love this game. It's so much fun. 
Carbonara Jack, exactly like that. It's exactly when you want to go to sleep and you find yourself looking at the Wikipedia article for varieties of cacti at 3 a.m. Uh, that is that is the exact kind of thing. Excellent. <laughs> because my big my big man hands cramping on most control. <laughs> You're like control is too tiny for my giant man hands. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you love it here, Remade Jackal. Um, we try and have fun in between eating the people. Uh, so, we get to play the guessing game, everyone. So, this time... Oh, this is actually different. The letters, the, the, ga the words were much bigger in uh, Fallout 3. So, let me see. Um, were, were massive. They later got called the Duke. They were massive. There's still lots of opinions so far. So far on Fallout 4, uh, sorry, Fallout New Vegas weapon exact match. Please wait where we. Well, that was very very easy. Support. Thank you uh, so much for the follow there, Kavanara Jack. That's really cool of you. Um, oh gosh, that was very easy. Check saved inbox. So, let me just quickly finish this survey, and I will totally answer your question. Uh, Sunset South Barella Company Intranet. Nathan Stanley, director of PR. Subject: What contest? Sir, the rumors of some sort of contest are quickly growing out of control. We're getting flooded with calls and messages asking if it's true we're redeeming bottle cap surprises. Do you want me to make an official statement denouncing this rumor? Oh, interesting. Um, Kenneth, I hope you've been impressed thus far with your recent purchase. Your company has been and continue to be a valued customer. Contact me if you have any questions. Okay. Check to save sent. What contest? Stanley, are you out of your mind? Have you seen the latest sale figures? We're up 300% since these rumors started and you're asking if I want you to make it stop? Please stop by my office so we can further discuss the issue. <laughs> Money, while well, the iron is hot. Marcus, I have a few ideas about how we can turn this whole contest situation to advantage. I'm going to need you to work with the advertising guys on a very special project. A meeting request will be sent out soon. By the way, how do you feel about cowboys? Oh. Lu uh, Lucas, I couldn't be happier with the performance of the new model. If its current performance is any measure, it promises to reinvent my company entire distribution network. I'd like to tentatively discuss purchasing a few more in the near future. How soon do you expect more to become available? Okay, so this whole contest rumor thing, like the prize is actually not a real thing. Um. Oh gosh. Now, now post the link to the stream to all of your social media. <laughs> um. Yeah, if anyone is, uh, if anyone has does have Discord, um, we do have a fairly active um, Discord community. We actually did our first um, Let's Watch night the other night, uh, where we watched uh, The Room and The Void, um, which was very delightful. Um, because The Room is a masterpiece of absolutely what you shouldn't do when you're making a film, and The Void was actually just a really decent low-budget uh, horror film, which is always very nice. <laughs> Everything went wrong. Um, exactly. Everything always goes wrong. Uh, the Discord link, um... I don't know. Oh, Jeff did it. Excellent. So Jeff bot worked. Cool. There it is. Fantastic. Um, but yes, Sobe, your question about the weapon, my feelings on the weapons in New Vegas. Oh, the door. I remember the door from. Yep. Um, I actually am. I think it's just such a jam so far, Sobe. I am so loving it. The dynamite was such a lovely, lovely surprise. And then you, oh, like, because I have the DLC, I had javelins, Sovi. Javelins. I only want to use javelins, but unfortunately I haven't been able to find any more. You are an intense fellow. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm so sorry. You actually seem kind of neat. Uh, it's time to... <laughs> I love that I'm attacking robots with a machete. Like, this just does not seem the way to go about murdering a robot. Do you know what I mean? Like, there surely has to be easier ways to murder a robot. You had a lot of flamer fuel on you, didn't you? Excellent little robot. Oh my gosh, they have so much. What are they doing? Mine, let's be... Oh, throwing knives? Yes! Well, yeah, actually, it's funny that you mentioned the cut off the eyes, Bam. I was lamenting about how we can't use spoons as a weapon in this game. Because I was like, that would be really neat if you could just, like, run at somebody with a spoon and, you know, just just go for the attack that way. Um, but yeah, so far, so far, I, I like them. I'm not... I've not tried too many guns. The flamer on this, I actually feel, is far more effective than in Fallout 3. Uh, the Fallout 3 flamethrower was fun, but... The new Vegas one just seems a little... to have a little bit more punch to it. Um, and to be honest, rescuing people with dynamite is just such a lovely, lovely perk. Okay, I think this was the way we want to go to get out. It requires a key. Of course it requires a key. How have I managed to get me... 
Uh, okay, yes, I can go out of the hole. I was like, oh no, have I managed to actually get us into a hole here? Oh, the spear, yes. <laughs> You're in the Discord, you have minor regrets. <laughs> What uh? What part did you run into there? Um, <laughs> the lovely new art section that we have. Ah, hello, friend. Time to go down now. No more of this. Okay, so a flame and are both in the game. Are uh, both in the game? IRC. Okay. What are you doing in West Vegas this early? Um. We, so, the reason we're here is, uh, chat said to go north, um, I think that I was supposed to die a lot more, but, um, we, we fled, we fled like, uh, like beasts, and somehow have managed to, to get through it into this lovely section, um, Mr. Janitor, sorry Mr. Janitor, no more cleaning for you, your cleaning watch ends here, don't know what my plan was, I'm pretty sure I'm in a cult now, just a, just a tiny cult. <laughs> uh, what time is it for you? Uh, for me here, it is uh, 8.46 p.m. Uh, on a Sunday. Oh gosh, so it's about noon where you are, so that would be in uh, Europe, right? Like around the sort of UK area, I think? Um, it's actually a cannibal cult. Yeah, if you, <laughs> if you weren't sure what you're getting into, um, as some people have called me, the, uh, the cannibal lady of TikTok, um, <laughs> There, there's slight hints as to what you might be getting into. So what I am going to do is I'm actually going to go to Springs and get myself healed. Oh, thank goodness gracious. <laughs> it's similar name to you, Samsky. Early for you. Yeah, that, that would be America then, right? I think in that, that sort of air general direction. I'm getting... One thing that I've really enjoyed about um, doing Twitch, because I've only been up this for about four months now, I think, is... Um, so do forgive me if you guys say a sort of time zone area and I don't quite know what it is. It's actually learning when you guys say what time it is, what kind of area you would probably be in the world in relation to me. Because I've like now talked to um, quite a few people and you all are like from different areas. And so it's kind of interesting to see like, like everyone in just such drastically different time zones. It's very, very neat. Now, where on earth is this doctor? Doctor! I mean, I should probably put my mach machete away. Can you imagine being the doctor? I come bursting in. Doctor! I need healing. How are you holding up? Oh god, I'm a Genji. <laughs> I'm hurt. I need help, Doc. Okay, fix me. Here's your caps. And wait, does this when he heals when he heals me, is it like he heals everything or do I have to ask specifically? Because I knew in um in Fallout 3, I kept having to ask. How are you holding up? Uh I need medical supplies. Sure. Oh! Oh! I can actually Oh! You actually will sell me stuff! Oh, that's neat. Um, I'm going to take the doctor bags because they seem very useful. And let's take the super stim packs and just take all the stim packs. You know what? Screw it. Have I been a uh, cured of my poison now? Um, why can't we? Uh, oh, hang on one sec. Let me just check what's going on. Uh, I'm in a watermelon. You're in a watermelon cult. Oh, I so want to ask, Revered. I so want to ask. Uh, I sounded like, I, I have been told that I sound a little bit more British as well. Actually, fun, fun fact about that, um, I actually have a speech impediment. Um, and so when I was growing up, I, I, even though I'm Australian based, I had to go see a speech uh, specialist to learn to speak properly. And they were British. And so I actually sound a little bit more British. So Australians will sometimes be like, you don't sound Australian. And it's because a British lady taught, taught, like, taught me how to talk. So that's why occasionally you'll get my accent going way more British than expected. And then it'll swing back to Australian. Um, though, that, so what's, uh, Eastern America has different times. Yeah, American time zones do my head in stew. You guys are like, are so, like, everyone has like their own little time zone in America. Um, you can lie to the doctor for supply. I can lie to him for supplies, bam. Um, okay. So he gives me more sometimes. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, you just, it doesn't, but it's kind, it's kind of sus, Revered Jackal. All right. A watermelon cult. I seriously do want to ask, but I won't force you. Um, okay. So I guess he can have my pencil and the police baton. We're not using that. And you can have the cigarettes. Hang on a sec. Oh, I think I've asked for more than I can take, haven't I? Shoot. I've been greedy. Okay. That's the one thing I I feel like in this... So hang on, I'll give him my junk first. Then I'll take stuff back. I got him... Wait! 
What? I got way, way too into stuff from him then, didn't I? I was like, I'm just going to take everything you've got. And let me just redo that. Jeff and chat, Jeff and chat. I've got to remember not to do that. Um, oh golly, okay. Uh, and does anyone, can you guys tell me what the leather belts are for? Because I could turn the skins of the geckos into them, but I wasn't actually sure what they did. A hundred, oh god, you know what, screw it. I really sold him junk. I'll just take the hundred caps. Um, I'll just take the 100 caps and I'll take the three doctor bags. I'll take the stim packs. And I'll take just two of those. Except, and I'm poor again. Goodbye. All right. And we're back to being poor, everyone. We're just going to take this from him as well. I love how, like, immediately after this guy saved me, I robbed him. Just straight out of the gate. Oh, so that was the ghost town. I think so. We, we yeah. Okay, so that, we didn't lie to him necessarily. We just, um, we told him what was happening. Do I have pronunciation tips for foreigners? Uh, not really, Carbonara. Um, like, because again, like, it's... English is such a, a tricky language. Like, for me, it's because, um, there's certain words that, like, occasionally you'll get it. So, um, the word squirrel is one, or the word flower. Um, so I would originally try to say squibble and flower. So it's more that there's just certain, um, words I, I can't quite say. It's, um, uh, like my R's, uh, some people have picked it up. I roll my R's super hard. So I tend to have very long R sounds, but there's specifically a name that, Barry, I'll get you to write it. Um, hey Nick, how's it going, man? There's actually like some na like words in English that I can't pronounce and people don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, so for example, what do you call like a 3D ball? Um, I can't say the name of it. And people always think I'm just like, playing a fun guessing game, but I'm like, no, I can't say it. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Okay, so we've done that, and now we need to go talk to the prim guy. So let's go talk to him and see what's going on. What is this? <laughs> oh gosh. Chat is just popping tonight. Okay, so now we need to go talk to a guard. I'm, I'm assuming that that's all that you guys wanted up north, right? Like you guys just wanted me to go through the canyon? Um, you, you see, I'm having a glitch that when a blade is shot, it grows three times the size it's meant to. Is that in a Fallout game, or what is that in? Well, if it isn't the Lawbringer. Oh gosh, yeah, the Lawbringer. So, for anyone who doesn't know, the the, uh, the law, the sheriff we made in this one, we made it the robot as opposed to an actual person, which I think means the weirdly, um, really into punishment guy is still banging around. Uh, what's your problem now? My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a beagle now. What you got fired? I don't wish him no harm, but the law to him is a set of logic. Oh. Not everything is black and white. I'm not sure a robot can ever understand. <laughs> I wonder if I've cursed this town with a robot. Um, dude, you're meant to help well, me though. If it is can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through ah, here? Yes. My memory is much clearer now. <laughs> I got Beagle fired! <laughs> I was still uh, performing recon, oh. gathering information on some of the powder gangers when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. Okay. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you. They that said was. They heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay. Well, if it isn't. The oh, there's nothing else he can talk to me about. Bye. Interesting. We got him fired, everyone. Well done, us. Uh, you're making a saw blade launcher for Fallout 4. It's a mod. Oh, that's insane. That sounds really cool. Robot sheriff is yeah. The, the robot sheriff just black and white. Super easy for him. This is great, and here's why. A home on YouTube. Okay. That's interesting. Full New Vegas is great. I don't know why, Samsky. For some reason, the name of that is really familiar. I'm wondering if maybe someone has also told me about that. Is that just like a cover where they've just, someone's just covered the whole thing? Or the name is so familiar. Like, that phrase is so familiar. Okay, so we want to go this way, I believe. We have actually said that as our quest, haven't we? Yes, they went that away. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, and as always, I'm very sorry if I do miss anybody's, um, comments or anything like that. Uh, I'm obviously trying to jeff and chat and not get myself pointlessly murdered just continuously, as I tend to do. Uh, but let's go on. We still need to, like, gosh, we still have quite a few people to eat before we get the perk for that, so... No, that's fine. I know what those are. Those are just creepy, creepy mutant guys. The centaurs are terrifying. I mean, can you imagine who came up with that concept? Oh, good, there's more than one! Oh, good, good, because I, I didn't, you know, I wanted there to be more than one. I was like, oh, this is fine. You have now radiation. Oh, of course I've got radiation poisoning. Why wouldn't I have radiation poisoning? 
Evolved center. Oh gosh, this is actually worse than I thought. It's so much bigger. Look at that. I, I would honestly love to know. Oh no, why me? Why are you shooting me? I, I am now dead. I should have healed. Okay, right. Um. So it's just some sort of comedy video essay talking about the new Vegas is great and why. That, yeah, no, sounds it's exactly up my alley. I love stuff like that. Um, <laughs> it's not jumped as a series similar. Pointless murder. Well, I like to think there's a, a point to the murder, like at times. Okay, so we just got bodied then. We just got fully bodied by that guy. Uh, so I think that the best way to handle that is... Oh gosh, those are body parts just flying everywhere. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I'm being so gosh darn silly. So let's equip our dynamite and let's go down here and let's have a quick devour because we need to get, I think it's like 25 and we get we get some bonuses. We've also, we have to hunt it down. Uh, Mr. House, Caesar, the King and Aaron Kimball and questionable change. Fists. Oh. <laughs> Okie dokie, it's time to go with fisting. Um... Rightio, so we'll put those down and this is going to be great. I'm not, I'm not going to be brutally murdered at all. So the role with the changed weapons is my first kill basically needs to be with whatever weapon you guys pick. Um, so that's going to be very, very interesting to see if I'm able to do that. Okay. I'm not crouching anymore. Excellent. All right. Let's go find the person. Very well placed, fam. Very well placed. Nick, you've definitely got someone coming for your troll title there. Um, I definitely think your your band last time was just so perfectly timed on the healing. That was brilliant. Ah, no centaur. Yes. Ha 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 ha. I mean, I know there's one down there. I'm probably celebrating too early, aren't I? I can already feel. Okay. No, no, no. Stop with your minigun. Stop with your minigun. No, 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 no. Ha. Yes. Now I'm in your face. You've let Jeff get close. Punch him, Jeff. Punch him. Oh, I'm doing like no damage to him. What about drugs? Drugs, quickly, inject yourselves. You now have radiation. That's fine. We can live with the radiation poisoning. Um, um, do any of you do drugs? Uh, okay, you do health. Let's do that. I'm going to need that. Uh, right away. Let's do that because it's probably actually affecting us. Um, oh, I should have put on a stealth boy, shouldn't I? Okay, we don't actually have any good drugs anymore. We were, like, too busy doing them all earlier. Shoot. That's okay. We'll just keep getting really close to his face. And... Yes, punch him. As, as everyone knows, the weakness of any super mutant is, is their very well-protected abdominal area, Jeff. As always, brilliant. Just keep moving. Oh, yes, this works. Ha, huh, you cannot shoot that which you cannot see. Yes, yes. No, 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 please. I, I liked it before when I saw... Ah. Hmm. I need to find something weaker to murder. <laughs> goal complete, goal complete. Oh, we believe in you, Jeff. Oh, gosh. And we're just back here again. So what about if I just take a different route? No, that probably won't help. We'll, oh, hang on. Maybe if I walk out of the town this way. Because if I just get my items off and I remove the machete. So now we're stuck with just our fists. But if I'm, I'm hoping if I take this slightly longer way, we find some weaker enemies. I did do some da- I- I- I am going to say that if I'd been able to keep myself behind him, I think I could have won that fight. It was- the, the issue was when I- I got in front of the gun. So pro tip for anyone who's wondering, if you walk in front of a gun, that's the part that can shoot you. In case anyone had any questions, um, that's a fun fact for everybody. Bullet come out front. <laughs> No, actually, I was reading about how exit wounds from bullet wounds are some of the most dangerous because um, what can often happen is people who get shot and they have to treat themselves like on the field and stuff like that, uh, they actually won't register that the, ex the, the exit wound and so they can actually bleed out from that. And the reason being, because you'd be like, oh, doesn't it hurt? Is apparently in some instances, the shock and that from the system, the brain actually shuts down the pain coming from that second wound and you just concentrate on the first one. And your brain is basically like, I need to give you all of the brain chemicals because you're dying um so we're going to ignore that big hole you have at the back of you let's just look at the one on the front of you uh so that's one of the reasons exit wounds are super dangerous so pro tip if you ever get shot god forbid make sure you check for an exit wound uh <laughs> you think chat <laughs> coming in with the facts yep follow the thing is like um 
how, how you end up yeah yeah you can understand how i ended up north the thing is i actually have fallout one and two i haven't played them but they are ones that i'm very very interested in because they obviously spawned this entire series and it's very cool to see because when i did fallout 3 i think there was one person i talked to who had actually played one and two um but it's kind of very very cool to see you guys yes yes come here and be murdered come and get on my fist you ant yes then i fulfilled my duty of banned weapon and we can change to something Come here, you tiny, weak bug. Look, I, I just know this is going to end terribly for me, isn't it? Because here I am, picking on a... Literally picking on a bug. And you just know that it's going to summon, like, hundreds of workers or something, isn't it? And I'm just going to get swarm killed. Yes, take it! Oh, your friends are coming! Your friends are coming! Your friends are coming! Okay, you died. Oh, your friends are coming! Oh, no, your friends are coming! Oh, I don't like this! Friendship is not magic! Friendship is evil! Oh, there's so many! I can just see the little red dots appearing. Yes, burn! Burn, damn it! Ha 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 ha. You don't stand a chance. Why do I brag? I can just feel them off in the, the background somewhere, aren't they? Ha 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 ha. Okay. Oh, there's a big one coming as well. That's all right. We can now, we can now hit them with fire. This is perfectly fine. And we'll take you out as well. No, no, get back. Get back, you foul beast. Right, well, that was a fun way to go about it, wasn't it? And we can... The best thing I love about Fallout is in this universe, it's true. Once you murder something, like, you take it, you can use their flesh. And that just seems appropriate. I think every game should have that feature. If you kill someone, you can just start eating them. I mean, Battlefield 1 would have been a totally different game if I could just descend upon an enemy soldier mid-battle and heal up. Like, that would have been fantastic and, and totally not distracted from the historicalness of it. Let's keep moving away from the ants, I think. <laughs> Which, I <laughs> keep running that way. Uh, oh, gosh. Which gun bit, uh, Sam's scare? I always find it interesting when people do clip the, uh, the game. Oh, golly. Let's, uh, let's cleave some things. Oh, no, I want dynamite. I love dynamite. Okay, I just knew that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, come on, no, just go, uh, go, uh, stomp the Goombas and eat their hearts. I mean, they kind of look like food anyway, like the little little walking guys. Okay, we're almost there. Excellent. All right, so this way, at least now, we haven't run into the centaurs or been murdered. I'm going to hit a save because I have I have survived far too much to not hit a save. So let's let's save up. Let's do that. Uh, the informa oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, Sansky, that you enjoyed the uh, the informational lecture on, on how not to get the, the important part of, of not being shot with a gun. I like to help people with that. <laughs> Iguana isn't anywhere in the US. What are we eating? <laughs> apparently, I've heard that apparently there's a lot in Florida. There's like an infestation in Florida because it's Florida, of course. Out of the ant pile into the scorpion pit. What? Oh, goats, 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 goats. goats. <gasps> oh, that's darling. A little baby. No, why? I just wanted to touch your baby. I didn't even want to eat it. I'm so sorry. I'm backing away. Oh, no. Oh, but it's so adorable. Okay, we're leaving that. That that's that almost went very terribly. I almost had to do something actually bad and hurt a goat. I would have felt bad about that. Can I eat your babies? <laughs> Thank you for the bit spam. And, and yes, well timed as to my usual approach towards babies. <laughs> oh my gosh that that actual clip comes from a whole thing where we learned we could eat crab babies and um it was just like a non-stop of me going like can i can i devour your babies oh yes the babies heal us oh. <laughs> let me clarify i don't want to put you in my mouth oh are you attacking me no okay who won the lottery i did smell that air couldn't you just drink it like booze <laughs> his voice feels so disjointed from the game i thought something else was happening and some sort of sound alert was going off and i was like i do not know what's going on oh hey night set how's it going hopefully well kill oliver do it kill him <laughs> end him oh wow bam's like do it oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, I could kill him. Oh my gosh, okay. Kill him, hey. Uh, are you feeling alright? Are you kidding me? 
Never felt better. Yeah. What sort of lottery did you win? What lottery? The drug lottery? The lottery. That's what lottery. Are you stupid? What is Only this man? Oh, oh my god, smell that air. I feel <laughs> like he and air he's taken air to a weird place, and I don't mean to kink shame, but I would prefer that he wasn't How this invested in air. What? I mean, yeah, it used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. He just really loves the lottery. Does that mean you have money? What? So wait, did he just come out of nowhere just to tell me he won the lottery? Oh no, I am near the explosion. Oh, what? Hang on, who the heck were you? Who is Oliver? Why is there an Oliver? What is going on? Please save the game. What? What just happened? Why was there a man behind me? I feel like I'm being stalked and I accidentally killed my stalker. Like, what just happened there? Oh gosh. But, okay, because I don't remember what I was typing. <laughs> Kill him for his useless lottery ticket. There was another fellow that just got, um, we just full on bodied. Okay, winning lottery ticket. Yay, now we have it. And your glasses. And your flesh. Because why not? I made a mistake. Kill the bottle cap guy, I think. No, the stalker is, you are safe. Unless Victor comes around. Oh, okay. Okay, and and Dave ran to save the game. So I did I did save the game just then. I'm now like so much is going on. I'm pretty sure I just I saved the game. Just yes, in Nipton. Okie dokie. So game is saved. Oh. Hi Thomas. Oh, you don't like me, do you? That's not nice. Here, have some dynamite. Oh, wow, I really need the VAT system for that. <clears throat> well, Cap guy or girl who approaches you. Oh, I remember someone was talking about the cap girl, weren't they? Oh, where is he? There he is. Okay. And we'll take all it. Oh, Thomas has a journal. Oh, is he going to try and make us feel for him? Um, let's find out together after a snack. Of course. Well, that's one. That, no, no, but Stu, he was red. It was red. <laughs> Isn't it? And it's the red guys that you guys have said that I'm allowed to kill. I'm sure of it. You've all said you're allowed if they're red, then I'm allowed to do murder. Um What's I actually looking at there? There was something I picked Oh yes, the journal, the journal, the journal. Uh so that would probably be in Bisk, maybe? Thomas's journal. The last entry of the journal reads, things finally seem to be turning around. Well. I made a nice bundle of caps, uh, turning in some scrap in the last town I passed, and now I have a new travelling companion. Her name is Jacqueline, and she's pretty cute. I'm not going to get ahead of myself here, but things are looking up. And to think, I was actually beginning to doubt the power of my lucky necklace. Well. Well, well, well. That's interesting. Uh, I hit him. You exploded. <laughs> yeah, I... Boy, is there a different way you would have preferred for him to have been murdered? I know... <laughs> Where is your lucky necklace? I mean, granted, there are a lot of ways to go out. Dynamite doesn't seem to be the worst way to possibly have gone out, right? Like, like surely there are there are worse. So where is this woman that he has? I could maybe make a new friend. That would be nice. Maybe Jeff could actually have someone who, you know, who isn't trying to murder Jeff. I just don't know why all these people just suddenly come flying at me. Oh, you're not shooting me at all. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh oh. First, I get my leg smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking Reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, bitch? Oh! Jesus fucking Christ. If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! No, then the meat would be tainted. Why are you still here? I don't know. I just love it here. Wow, Box Guys is mad, isn't he? Second place was I got oh, gosh. Live. But they beat my fucking legs with hands. Thomas was going to have a date, but he ruined his chance. <laughs> so I have no date for him. No date for him. Uh, he's, he is very mad, Sphinx. He is so mad. Green Eye, you say shoot him? Just go straight for the kill? Um, I don't have any medics for you. I'm very confused by box cars. Do I get something? Uh, rip box cars legs feels bad. Actually, I can spare some medics. You're a fucking dream come true, Do you give me something? How much you gonna give me? One dose. Big fucking deal. Dude, what happened to this town? The happened. What the fuck's it look like? Dude is aggressive. How did you survive? Yep, that's how. I'm just, you're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton lottery. Who? Okay. Asshole Swanick took first place, so him they let walk. 
Tell me about the lottery. It ain't like we came and nipped in to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had <laughs> it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going oh, to no. them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. How'd your plan go wrong? Get in position, and next thing <gasps> Still we not know, well for him. By those fucking legion I am touched by <laughs> your support. And everybody else into the center of town. That Thank you for the follow there, Night said. That's super swell of you. He talking about um. we're bad people. <laughs> he said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. I do like that, drummer. Boxcar is a stand-up guy. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, what happened after everyone got lottery tickets? What do you think? <laughs> they started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky because it's pretty quick. Uh -oh. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, damn. Those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs, and the winner, they let go free. Oh! Wow. And then the winner ran into me. That is really unlucky. That is very unlucky. What happened to the mayor? Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Damn, who are these chaps? Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged him off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. These guys sound like something right out of Warhammer. Um, I'll do what I can to save them. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. Wow, okay, screw you then too. I don't like him. Like, I'm torn because I don't know if we'll eventually need good karma and I could farm it by giving him lots of, um, medics. So I'm torn as to whether or not keeping him alive just for the karma farming later on. Sort of like how you were able to hydrate people, like, into being good again. Um, which I really liked the mechanic, you know. Um, I, do, do something evil, just give somebody some water and it's fine. We will take everything here. What else is up here? Um, just the bathroom. But he is very, very aggressive. And I don't like people being that blatantly rude to Jeff. So, hmm. Uh, I am wondering. The Legion of Spears and Throwing Weapons Drawer. Ooh, I think we know where we're going. The Legion of my new best friends. So if I join the Legion, let's say, I will have access to throwing weapons. Um, because I can, I can overlook some stuff. Like, here and there, do you know what I mean? I can definitely overlook some things. Uh oh, am I stuck? A little bit. Okay, there we go. Or am I over encumbered? I could be both. Maybe I'm both. I am over encumbered. Uh, which is fine. I need to eat some stuff anyway. Okay. And do we have anything? No, it's empty. Why would I? Right. Uh, Barry, would you mind maybe putting a pole up? Um, <laughs> we need to discombobulate him just a bit. Would you mind Barry putting a pole up? Um, uh, Boxcars, live or die. Let's check. Let's check where chat's at because I'm torn between which option I want to take there. And I think, as as I like this game to be a community game where we all work together for Jeff, because that way, when something truly evil happens, um, I get to say that it's not just my my doing, and it was in fact a group effort. Um, so if you can just chuck that up, it would be excellent. Paul incoming. <laughs> This could be a better first impression of the Legion. That's right, Sansky. This this could be a very good first impression for the Legion. Huh. This is a... <laughs> oh, gosh. It means nothing in New Vegas. You are not barred from any content, high or low. Oh! Interesting, Kaminara. So in this, it doesn't matter what my actual karma is. Oh, well, we'll still leave it up to a vote, but that's very nice to know. That's super swell. Oh, are you still alive? Oh. Oh. Hello. This person appears to be near death. To remove them from the cross would kill them. Well... That was a very long cutscene, wasn't it? Do you think he's still alive? Like, I know he's technically dead, but I did just freshly cut him down. How horrifying would it be? You've just been crucified, and then you see this terrifying person in a hockey mask come up, and they just cut you down, and the last thing you feel before darkness descends is human teeth biting into your flesh. 
That would be horrifying. Anyway, let's go on with the game. More people on crosses. Um, you can kill anyone and the story changes around it. Oh, right, Sepsi. So literally, I can just do whatever I want in the game and it won't stop me like Fallout 3 did at times. This is true. These, these people aren't really innocent, are they? Like, they are technically horrible criminals. Um, so if anything, I'm being like a really awesome Batman of, of uh, New Vegas. I'm taking out criminals, you know, left, right and center. He had beer on him still. What a lucky chap. Oh, gosh, they put... Oh! Oh, the Legion's right there! Oh, okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> a fair kill. A fair kill. Oh, okay. Well, I wonder what the Legion think of me. Because they've I, they've just, like, watched me walk in the street, hack bodies down, and start eating the bodies. And the Legion just there, like, well, this is different. Um... You mean hanging meat? <laughs> I mean hanging meat. Uh, of course, of course. Um, and this is where Wolf Guy comes to place or True to Caesar. Oh, nice, Sobi. That's awesome. The powder hangers are not innocent. <laughs> okay. Oh, right, Caesar. Ah, you're on my list, buddy. Excellent. Okay. So let's do a quick save. Wow, because I'm pretty sure in Fallout 3 it took me a while to go full on dark, but uh, New Vegas Jeff has just dived right on in, haven't I? Um, I'll put my weapon away as a sign of good faith. Hi. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. The wolf guy. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on... I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here. Especially any NCR troops you run across. This is like the Night Legion from Warhammer Drover. I, I think I got the name wrong. But you and Barry were talking about it. This is exactly them. Um, what lessons did you teach here? Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution... Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Okay. Uh, what exactly happened Nipton here? Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Okay. Profited troops, powder gangers, men of the league. Someone brought it. A... So it does because look like we are killing, uh, killing the chap by the looks of the poll result there. For a pittance, Crossly. the agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang <laughs> You're on my this. Day, inside it too. Hang on. Um, so I think, Barry, it is go back and kill them was on the poll? Uh, you're on my list. Yes, very much. Um, they deserve a stick of dynamite down the throat. They don't like you being on a cross to a random legion soldier. Um, nipped into base, legion, legend based. Okay. Boxcars is very dead. Alrighty, not a problem. Plus five manual for doing it to the Eat box cars caboose. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we will eat box cars caboose. You captured everyone? Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Oh, wow. Each I want his hat. I want to be an edgelord. Them. Each did nothing, even when... Loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Uh, sounds like they got what was coming to them. Yes, they did. Caesar's Legion fame gained. In due time. Now go and teach them what you've learned here. There will be more lessons in the days ahead. Sounds good to me. Are you guys, just before I go murder box car? Oh my god, you have get pet walls? You guys have the best perks. I want to join your group. Yes. I want to be one of you. You guys get... And your... Like, look. Their uniforms look neat. Right-o. Okay. Well, before we go investigate Nipton Hall, let's go back to Boxcar and see what's going on. Um, no problem, Samski. So, thanks so much for dropping by and uh, hopefully see you around. Have a good sleep. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, where... I think he was over in here, wasn't he? We'll find him one way or the other. There he is. Righto. Well, dinner time. Dude, I thought you said your legs were broken. That didn't seem like broken legs to me. 
gets up, starts moving. <clears throat> My Google is recruit a legendary. <laughs> nice, spam, nice. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, well, how delicious. He can stay there. And off we go. Let's investigate the building. So that's the leg the Legion, hey? Like, look, I, uh, I'm i vibing with them. Jeff, I think, is vibing with the Legion. I think uh, Jeff will fit in well. Check general. Uh, okay. <laughs> that is a branch. All right, let's have a look and see what's inside. Wow. Do they think they defleshed the bodies? Or they just brought skeletons with them? Because that seems like it wouldn't be down to that level just yet. Do you know what I mean? Um, and that would be a bit terrifying. I mean, I would very be much be questioning the person who comes in with, like, pre-prepared um, skeletons to hang around the place. Look at Jeff go. Just getting treats left, right, and center. Actually, speaking... <laughs> thinking of mysterious meats, um... Have you guys ever heard of Nathan Handworker? Some of the Americans might know it because apparently he's, um, Nathan's, uh, it's a, it's a restaurant chain, like, called Nathan's in America. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, this Handworker guy, he was a Polish immigrant in the 1900s, and, like, in 1960, he opened up a hot dog stand. And that's where my mysterious meat reason's coming from. Oh, good, we've just got more, ten more people to go. Um, and when he opened it up, uh, what happened was... Uh, he slashed the price of the hot dog. So competitors were selling hot dogs for 10 cents back in the day. And so he started selling them for 5 cents. And the competitors got really mad at him for doing that because obviously he was undercutting everything. So they spent all these rumors going around that his hot dogs were the absolute worst hot dogs. Um, and so that you shouldn't... You shouldn't eat there. And so to compet like to basically combat that, what he did is he... No, 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 please don't make me kill you. You're so cute. Oh, this is so sad. Um, this is upsetting. I hate when the game makes me do something awful like this. Here, let me give you a quick death. You deserve, you deserve a nice, easy death. You don't deserve to be horribly, horribly killed. Um, probably the shotgun's going to do, I think, the most damage. Do, 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 do. This one, yes. Um, so yeah, basically what he did, um, he hired a bunch of people to wear lab coats and, um have stethoscopes around their neck and eat his hot dogs and so everyone would see all these doctors eating his hot dogs constantly and so they were like oh it must be really healthy then and that's actually how he ended up um oh gosh we're over encumbered that's actually how he ended up uh getting even more popular and even more famous because people were convinced that his hot dogs were actually healthy um and it was all and he never would have thought about it or probably even um been as popular had his competitors not been spreading such like all these lies about him, which I thought is kind of neat. Uh, ant nectar, strength, we don't need that. We've got anti venom, but I don't think we're poisoned. Effects, no, we're not poisoned, so we're okay. Um, but we definitely, definitely need to do some more stim pack. Uh, we'll just take the beer because I don't want to have it on me. And more drugs because we want to get the drugs done. And. Oh, the sarsaparilla, of course. I should have drunk that. Never mind. Okay. And I'm sure that I can turn the dog meat and hide into something. So I'm sure it serves a purpose. Um, the skeletons are mine. I brought it from home. <laughs> these are my skeletons, Mom. I brought, the, I brought these from home. Come on, guys. <laughs> Sit there polishing my skeletons, making sure they're nice and neat. Um, you could cause repeat of death instead. Uh, don't forget the dog. Yes, so I've got the, the dog meat and everything on me now, so that's nice. Uh, hot, hot dogs and human. Hey, you can't disprove that they're not human meat, man. Um, make a certain character carry it. I need a companion, um, but I don't have one yet. I know I took ages to get a companion in Fallout 3, so I'm keen to get one earlier on. Um, the Swallow for now just finished a throwable bullet causing distract enemies and it can be picked back up. Oh, that's neat. So you can actually pick it up. That's one thing I thought was a bit disappointing in this, that you can't pick up the javelins once you actually throw them. So that's neat. I don't know why I took the box of detergent. I didn't really need it. Um, <clears throat> so you just couldn't get the saw, the saw launcher to work? Damn. Um, I don't even really know what's in this building. Just going for a bit of a wonder, to be quite honest. Uh, <laughs> I like how I've just sort of ignored the main quest. I'm like, nah. Oh, no. There's more puppies to murder. Help. That's sad. 
Okay, come on. Couldn't it have just been more innocents? That would have been so much easier, but all right. I mean, look at them. They don't know what they're doing. They're just in the house, you know, being good boys. And here I am being a terrible person and just ripping them apart. But one of them seems to be growling after death, which is a little bit confusing. Actually, do you want to know a horrifying thing that some Russians did with dogs? Oh gosh, okay, and I'm over encumbered, but that's alright, we can, um, we can eat our way into lightness again. And I am fairly sure I'm wasting a bunch of stuff, to be honest, I, I know it. Uh, <clears throat> but it's the game's fault for making me do math. Um, and I maintain that. Oh good, another person. Excellent, I think this house might get us over to the ten that we need. Um is the probably the dino man the dino man sophie who is dino man um turn face now the blade is the right size that it flies way too slow oh so revere jackal is just not worth the worth the effort type thing it's like i'll come back to it later because i guess if it's too slow then everyone would move out of the way oh that's downstairs i don't want to go downstairs i want to go upstairs um so that's all our dogs did i yes okay but i think i haven't checked these rooms oh my gosh are we just gonna uh-oh I can hear beeping. Mm. Well, uh, lots of my body is hurting now, so that's nice. Uh, let's correct that, I think. Um, I think the... Oh, let me have a quick look. So condition... And items. There you go. I was worried we'd have too much weight, but it looks like... I'm just going to have to eat everything on my way there. You now have radiation poisoning. Visit a doctor or take a right away to lower your radiation level. What did I get radiation poisoning from? Bodies? That's a bit, um, right away. Okay, let's do that. Huh. Interesting. I wasn't expecting to get radiation poisoning. Uh, but that's okay. These things happen when you're stuck in the wasteland. That's back to the first floor. Um, you just have to wait here. <laughs> I'll just have to wait. So, Dino Man, I'm hoping it's something to do with dinosaurs. That would be very, very fun. It's radio. Where did I get this radio? I feel like most of my streams can basically be summed up with the surprised Pikachu face. <laughs> Talisman does something. Why did this terrible thing happen? I just don't understand. The lady, yeah, she had some kick to her drawer. She was, uh, the radiation is the best part. It's like spice, basically. Um, you know, if any of you are like a big Tabasco fans, uh, I'm assuming that that's what radiation is like to Jeff. The more radiated, the better. Just that extra kick, you know? Uh, let's take that. Uh, you know what? That was actually a really good healing thing, so I, I feel a bit annoyed that I just used that then. Um, we will leave everything here. I'm just looking for anything interesting, because I can always come back later. Oh, good, more drugs. So let's do those real quick. Because um, I figure we might as well get the... We've become addicted to a drug. Take more of the drug to elevate the side effects or visit a doctor to be cured. Cool. I figured we'll get the addiction out of the way early. Um, and that way we can just heal it when we go back to see a doctor. Uh, which will be shortly after this. You know, when you, you're addicted to things, so you just you get it out of the way early. Get it done with, you know? And let's check in through here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, good! A big book of science! Because you want somebody like Jeff to have a big book of anything, right? Like, you want her to have more knowledge of how things work. Um, plus 10. Okay. <clears throat> and... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the magazines like the Programmer's Digest, they're actually a temporary buff, aren't they? They're not permanent like the books. Um, <clears throat> oh, Russians and dogs, you want to hear? Oh, no, no, not Pavlov Bam. No, um, the... <clears throat> Where back was this really freaky? Yeah, no, the um, like Pavlov, that that was definitely you know awful. But um, there was actually I think it was in the 1980s or something like that. Um, Russia actually had a guy who the thing he would do is he actually would sew a so he would decapitate one dog and basically sew its head onto the living body of another dog, and um, both heads would actually remain alive um for a few months afterwards. Um, I think the record he had was about five months. He managed to create one of those monstrosities and keep them alive. Um, but it was actually something Russians did was to see if they could transplant a head and uh, they can that that is something they can do horrifying horrifying thing that the Russians did um, but yes so that was the the thing about the dogs um, why was Pavlov's hair so soft he used conditioning very nice Barry very nice oh is this the that's our drugs isn't it that's ah shoot this is why we're slow now damn it uh, and 
and we don't have any way to fix that. So I'm just gonna have to go straight to the doctor. <laughs> if it says something is not permanent. Okay. Books are permanent, mags are not. Okay, excellent, excellent. Right. But yes, yeah, so um, the, the whole Pavlov thing, like the Pavlov, everyone's always like, they talk about the Pavlov experiment, but very few people actually realize exactly what he did during a lot of those. So it's kind of a little bit like, it wasn't just with the bell. There was a lot of surgical invasiveness. Oh gosh, Jeff, is there anything we can do? Is there any, there's no like temporary drug thing is there? No, I'm just, I'm just going to have to slowly walk to the door. Um, now you regret telling- <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I, my apologies there. It is, um... <laughs> usually if I don't follow up a fact, it probably means that the fact is horrifying. Just as a FYI, everybody. Um... <laughs> Wait, am I actually over-encumbered? I thought I wasn't over-encumbered. Oh, I am! What? When did- Oh, because of my drugs! The drugs have done it, and they've given me a negative. Of course, that would make perfect sense. How silly of me. Um, right, 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 right. Thank you, Sovi. As always, you have my back. And let's just do this real quick. Okay. I just thought it was, like, the drugs and me, because like, I remember... You know what? Now I actually think about... <gasps> now I actually think about it. I realized I probably did certain things quite wrong in Fallout 3 and I missed I, I I misunderstood the mechanics oh is it actually something I'm meant to be doing in Nipton there probably is something I'm oh no that's where I want to go that's fine we'll come back to Nipton I want to get rid of these drugs um so let's go to this area we'll go there <clears throat> Oh, cool, bam! So my clothing will actually give me disguise perks. That's interesting. Your ten, yeah. Dr Thank you, driver. I thought I I wasn't because the drugs I'm assuming meant I could carry less weight now. So I think that's. And then in my head, I was like looking at. It, I was like, well, I've not picked up any item, but I think it's the drug addiction because it's kicked in that that's what's happening there. Um, but we'll find out. We'll go talk, get rid of our drugs, and and keep moving forward. Okay. So let's go in and say hello. Where are you, Doctor? Let me wake you up. Here you go. I still think I should be allowed to sleep in his beds, because he has so many. Here, have 50 caps. I probably didn't okay, need to do that, but... Hold still. And please cure my addiction. I like how he's like, hold still, bye! Injects me, walks off. Doctor, should you, should you not be more concerned about your patient? How are you old enough? Uh, I think I might be addicted to something. Cure me, please. Okay. Imagine if that was so easy to cure addiction. Just a quick injection and you're done. If you enjoy learning random trivia, Alphabet is definitely the game for you. The lore is very extensive and logic effects about both the cut and content. Yeah, I, um, and the can- Because, yes, this, the, there was the cancelled one. Um, I am very interested in that ca in Carbonara. I, I wanted to look it up beforehand, but obviously that would be spoilers. Um, because I was trying to- I ended up looking a lot up about Fallout 3, so I am very interested in learning about the lore and the different changes they made. Like, I found it very interesting, like, the child at heart perk they took out in New Vegas, because they originally wanted to carry that one over from Fallout 3, but they took it out for New Vegas because they just had so many minimal children. They were like, it's pointless. Um, and then apparently, like, fan theories had sprung up about the whole thing as well, about why there were just no children. Uh, so that's like I love learning stuff like that especially for games I play so whenever I do play a game I tend to do a little bit of research around the game um, and around like the devs and stuff like that and obviously with a game as massive as this there's so much uh, just to get into with it which is brilliant uh, so 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 we want to go here I guess all right um Supposed to be a follower, but he was cut due to time constraints. Oh, so they actually wanted him. So, oh my gosh, how cool would that have been? If he'd been able to follow you, and then they just ran into the time restraints. And bam, you have the mod that adds it. Oh, that's super neat. And super minute, but they cut because it would ruin the story. Oh, that makes sense, Sobi, because that would be so out of character for what you typically have. That's really neat, though. Um. Oh, go to bed. So we could actually sleep here. That's nice. We'll have to remember that. So we can sleep in the the, uh, the wasteland that was nipped in. Excellent. Um, that. Huh. Okay, so from what I could see, our marker said, Welcome to Nevada. Uh, to silver, the silver state. Oh, gosh. I do remember when um, Fallout 3 came out. 
and I forget the name of it now, but there was actually hardcore Fallout 1 and 2 fans that were so against it. They actually formed like a big group basically hating on Fallout 3 and they had all these like really specific gripes with the game. And one of them being that, um, drive in. Uh, one of them being like, why were some buildings standing, some weren't, and it didn't make sense. And they were super against mutants and that. Like they were very anti-mutant. Oh, look at that little cutie. You're a lot more yellow than before. Bye, Scorpion. Let's keep going. Oh my, there's quite a quite a few scorpions in there, aren't there? Or at least one. Is this the movie theater? Well, very close to the movie theater, at least. I think that's it up there. Because I just figured I might as well ping it. Um. So I've got a quick question. Is there? Because I know in um. In Fallout uh, 3, there was obviously the perk that lets you see every mark, like every marked location on the map. Is there the same perk in uh, New Vegas at all? Because that was one I didn't actually look up. Um, just because I, I, one of my biggest weaknesses in any game is navigation. So having those points already unlocked, like, so I can see them on the map would be a massive help. Oh, that looks like some fun's happening up ahead. So let's hit the save real dang quick and uh, let's go investigate to see what's happening there. I hear gunshots and I see people fighting. Also, I see whatever the heck that thing is trying to wave at us. You have discovered drive in. Okay. Who's winning here? What is happening? Uh, oh, well, you guys have come straight out the gate. We could have been friends, Jackal gang member. Oh, okay. So we're making friends with another gang. That's very nice. Oh, I think we get, we're, oh, right, hang on. These were the chaps that we walked into the base of and we slaughtered everybody, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm guessing these are the ones that were already out and about and probably came back and were like, uh, why is everyone dead? And the answer is Jeff. Had, dear, I'm winning. I, I don't know if you've, <laughs> you've realized this yet, but I'm winning quite handily here, or quite headily here. I'm a head of the game, one might say. Um, you know what? I actually sort of sold stuff as well. Oh, that's so silly of me. Uh, absinthe. I want it, but dang it. I really should have sold some stuff. Uh, I'll just take the caps and the psycho then, and we can... I'm over encumbered. Of course I'm over encumbered. Silly, silly. Um, let's... I can't repair that. Aid, aid, aid. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are the sarsaparillas? There we go. All right, who else is there? I could have sworn there was more people about. Hmm. Um. <clears throat> the answer is, well, a sideable faction. Um, they aren't a faction like the PGs. Okay, so it, it can't remember if it's a level twenty or thirty perk. So it is there. Okay, excellent. So it is there, just a bit later. Oh, the movie says DLC. Don't touch. Thank you, Drawba. Thank you. Okay, I will. Um, I will back the heck out of here then. Uh, so let's. Let's get out of here then, guys. Um, after we clean up a little bit. So we'll just very quickly do as we do. Um, and we'll just clean up. And then we can come back later. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Finish there. So let's quickly go back. I do like that little waving thing. I'm assuming I haven't spoiled any story or anything just by cleaning that out. Huh? Oh, definitely like the... D the, the thing is... um. Is there any order in the DLC that you guys would recommend? Because there were some very good suggestions for uh, for Fallout 3 when I went through all of that DLC list. So since you guys are obviously ma major fans, I definitely would appreciate any um, any thoughts you had on which uh, DLC to do in which order. Oh gosh. Okay, let's take this person as well. Oh no! What are you? Oh, what? Oh, you're a gecko. Wait, who's saying they found me? Golden gecko hunter? Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, so we'll take that. We'll just let her do whatever she's doing with that car. That's perfectly fine. Though I guess I can't uh, warp away because there are enemies nearby. <clears throat> so you'd go that way? Um, keep picking up junk and leaving ammo behind. Oh, this is one of your favorites? What is a uh, OWB? Uh, that's probably I'm, I'm guessing that's the shorthand for the for the specific one. Um, yes, straw, but that does sound exactly like something I do, doesn't it? Um, I will I will attempt to correct that and start picking up more ammo from now on. 
Um, but you like the release order of dead money on a hold word blues and lonesome road. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So lonesome road is for both of you. Two of you are, are last, and two of you have switched around. Interesting. Okay. Um, let me just have a quick look. Can I actually travel now? Because I really need to sell some stuff. Uh. I know that there's a guy here I can sell to, so I'll go there. <clears throat> All right, let's go say hello, clear out our inventory, and then we can proceed a little bit, see what's happening next. Hey there. Oh, you can take my... <laughs> Thank you, you no, but I just, in my head, surprise. I just don't think about it. I'm just like, grab, 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 move, move, move. Um, but I, it's something I definitely need to get better at, is actually looting effectively. Um, <laughs> Because I just, I have a tendency just to sort of grab and then ignore what's happening, unfortunately. Um, gosh, we're not even using a lot of these weapons. Um, so I'm just thinking if I should maybe get rid of some. Because I feel like we just have, like, we definitely want to keep the shovel because you can grave rob. Um, and that's super fun. I don't like the sturdy caravan gun. So I will get rid of it. Um, weathered 10 millimeter. If I've got the weathered 10 millimeter, then I'll get rid of the normal one. And what else do I have? What's in my... M oh, hang on. Let's get rid of that and that. And I'm going to buy some things off him because it looks like I've given him too much. Uh, aid, aid, aid. What do you have, dude? Get those, get that. So, 81 caps to me. And... Accept. Um, what else can I sell this dude? No, I want anything in aid, I assume. And this is my misc. Um, dog hide and stuff like that I want for, um, oh, duct tape I know I want. Uh, empty syringe, I think I did, and they don't weigh anything anyway. Fishing battery weighs a lot. I'm just going to sell it. And leather, that has a lot of weight. Uh, let's sell those. I thought they maybe did things. I should probably check chat in case you guys are saying something to me there. Um, in any order, it's fine as long as you play Lonesome Road last. The DLCs all have self-contained stories, but they all have hot tapes and foreshadowing to the big fun. Okay, good to know, Drew Carbonara. So, Lonesome Road is definitely a good finisher there. That's fantastic. Um, it's going to be like a 4 one scum where you just start looking at them in a weight value ratio, whether you pick it up. Um, and Lonesome Road has got, so it's sort of like how the Zeta DLC was seen as like some of the toughest stuff in it as well. Okay, cool. Good to know. You can take my shot glass and my scrap metal. And definitely these games sort of end up becoming a little bit of a... I'm going to keep the lottery ticket. What a happy memory. <laughs> that weight and it has zero value. But I have 1,500 of them? That... Okay. Sure. Um, oh, card and cigarettes. He can take that as well. And I'm just finding those everywhere. I'll get them later because I'm not really doing like how long guys in this game until I get a base where I can store stuff because I'd be very interested in starting to store stuff. Exit. Give me a shout if you need it. Goodbye. What's our weight looking like now? Uh, oh, good. So we can carry about 74 more junk. And we'll just hit a save before we continue. Excellent. Because um, I really want to get a place to live. Um, I know, Sovi. I'm so bad at knowing what I need and don't need. I just end up carrying everything. Use Victor's shack. What, the robot? Does he have a shack that I can use? Um, you'll get there very soon? Okay. Is where you can store... Oh, I can store stuff in the little blue mailbox. Uh, outside Chet's place. Isn't that Chet? I'm missing the mailbox. Uh, it's probably right in front of me. Oh, that thing. That big thing there. I don't know why. I was looking for one of those old classic mailboxes. Oh, okay. Dropbox is like this one can be used to deliver items to Mobile Express. Dropbox that you've discovered. Once you find a mobile dropbox, it's activated and you'll be able to use that. Oh, nice. Thanks for the shout out here. Oh, before I can make any shipments. Never mind. Well, we know it exists, everybody. So that's, uh, that's a step in the right direction in my book. Okay, so I'll be looking for another one of those. And... No, I don't want to travel there. No, okay, so we are trying to find something outside Nipton. Excellent. Let's go back. And that's it? Okay. And Novak's an easy choice. Okay, so this way we want to go. 
So, onwards. This is the lovely... Uh, I'm assuming that this is where they burnt the mayor. Because they said that they burnt him on a pile of uh, tyre. That fire is not going out. Well, lovely. Um, though I wonder if we'll get our own version of Sticky in this game. Because that will be... You know, I enjoyed building Sticky. He was great fun. On the road again, and onwards. You know what, I'll put the, um, the shotgun away, because we will travel faster. There's no trains, so that's a bit of a shame. That would be great if, like, Fallout, but with trains. <laughs> that would be terrifyingly deadly. You just know that there would be an opportunity to tie someone to the tracks as well if they had moving trains in this. Um, there's no way they just wouldn't. Uh, though, actually, okay, so this is fun. Have you guys ever heard about the crash at Crush? Oh, a dust storm. Um, so the crash had crushed. It happened in 1896. And basically, there was this big, um... There was this big train, uh... Like, company called Kelly, I, I think it was at the time. And they just upgraded their locomotives from... I think it was 30 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. And, uh-oh. Oh, no. Danger. Oh, my head and my leg. I need those. I need those. Just see, see, like the lady proved the point. I need my head. Um, but yeah, so basically what happened in the crash at Crush, this, this uh, train company had upgraded their locomotives. And like this was back, because again, this was 1896. So this is back when people seeing a train were like, oh my goodness gracious, a train? That's astounding. Um, so they were actually a big draw thing. And so since they couldn't really use these trains anymore, uh, they had to figure out what to do with it. And so one of them basically went... What about if, like, we crash the trains into each other? Do, do you want to do that? And so the executives were like, yes, yes, we want to do that. And it was really, really smart because what they ended up doing was they, it, this was in Texas, they went to um, this, like, little land in the middle of the desert where there was nothing there. And uh, they built this, like, mini pop-up town. And it was actually, on the day that the crash happened, it was the second most populated um, city in Texas for the time. It was, like, massive. Uh, like, they had, like, all these showgrounds, all these different things like that. Um, and it was, like, this amazing thing, right? Um, and so they had people come and the show was free you didn't have to pay to see the two trains run into each other uh but the only way to get there was if you brought a ticket on the railroad to get to see the trains so you can see why it was a very very clever marketing scheme on their part um and so the day came for them to do the crash at, at crush because they named it crush and that because they could say crash at crush and when they had the two trains go running into each other, um, they were very excited about it and they were sure that nothing could go wrong because they had checked and the engines wouldn't explode because they were built specifically not to do that. So they started the two trains and um, you can probably guess what happened. Uh, as the trains hit, there was like this moment of silence and then there was just this gigantic explosion as both the, boil like the, the engines on the trains, their boiler parts, exploded. Um, so both of them exploded quite dangerously. They killed at least two people. They took out another person's eye. Everyone, well, about half the people panicked and about another half of the people went, oh my gosh, time for souvenirs because the trains were in bits and pieces now. Um, and so they started, like, they descended upon the mess of the trains to take it home, to basically put over their fireplace, like, a conversational piece, which I guess it would work. Like, if someone comes over and they look at, like, some weird twisted metal thing you have on your coffee table and they go, what's that from? And you go, well, that was the time that I watched a train explode and murder someone. Want to hear about it? Who's going to say no to that? Um, but even better, the guy who... Um, the guy who had arranged the whole thing, uh, they, he got fired the next day, right? Because they were like, this is such bad publicity. This is awful. And then the day after that, he got rehired because the publicity was so everywhere. Like, everyone was astounded that this had happened. Every newspaper reported on it. And so he got his job back and he continued to crash trains into each other for years to come. So that's the crash at Crush, which I love. Um... See ya, Nick. So sorry if I've missed you and you've already gone. Um, but have a good sleep, man. Uh, so the chopper is... In. Oh, good. I'm so glad I grabbed it then, Sophie. So let me have a quick look at our unique... At our unique item then. Uh, chopper. Okay, time to do chopping, everyone. Uh, the 10 metal pieces in this game is so much better than 3. Are they, Bev? I'll have to try them out because I just wasn't 
that fussed with them in the original one. But yeah, they, they've definitely changed up a lot of the weapons in this. Uh, so this is just some vegetable thing. What am I actually... I should really check my quest as to what I'm actually looking for. Um, quest, quest, quest. So they went that away. Head to Novak through Neptune. Ask around Novak about your attackers. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. That's fine. We can just keep heading that way. Okie doke. Onwards, everybody. Yes, Lunch Snake. Um, hello, by the way. How are you going? Um, oh god, I completely missed you. I just realized that your name appeared several times before I just saw that message about the cannibal. Um, I'm so sorry for being rude and not greeting you. But yes, we are a cannibal. We managed to do it at the end of last time. And we're only a couple bodies off being able to, um... Oh, you guys are friendly. What a pity. We're only a couple off of, um, basically being able to get, like, an extra perk with the cannibalism. So it's going quite well. Balloon Fest 86, if you... I have not Kabanara Jack. What is Balloon Fest? Why are these guys all in their knickers? Um, recruit... Oh, no, I don't want to kill the legionnaire. The legionnaire. We need to be their friends. Oh, well, you're already dead. This isn't really my doing. This is... This is... This is me being Switzerland at its finest. I didn't murder him. I'm being neutral about the gunfight. I'm not taking a single part in any of it. Um, you need to do cold heart for the Legion at some point. Um, but yes, what is Balloon Fest, Cabanara? That sounds fascinating. Oh, I don't want them to shoot the cow, though. Well, that's the end of that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. They won. Yes, Dine and Dash! There you go! We've done it, everyone. We've got the Dine and Dash. The encounter between the traitors and the legion. This is this is them. This is not my fault. I was perfectly innocent in all of that. Nothing bad happened, but they won, which is brilliant. Hello, everybody. I think if I keep eating bodies, though. Yes, Dine and Dash. From memory, if I keep eating bodies, I'll get even more stuff, right? Doesn't Dine and Dash add it to my inventory? Oh, I should actually loot them as well. That might be smart. Hey. Um... Like, here I am just taking the body. Like, I've completely forgotten that there's actually more to them. Oh, and armor. We might want to put armor on. That would probably be smart, wouldn't it? Um, oh, gosh. We have so many options. Uh, so let's take that. And we'll take this. Uh, let, that, wow. Those traders did not give a damn. They just went off, didn't they? They're like, we're out of here. We're done. Oh, this is actually worse than what we have. Right. Well, never mind then. We didn't need that at all. Oh, fresh carrots. How delightful. And drugs. Even better. And look, actual armor that we're taking. Brilliant. Exit that. And Dine and Dash. Okay. If you have low, uh, low on caps with the same armor. Oh, nice, Bam. So I can just take and repair it for it. Um, 1.5 million helium bombs released on the same day in Cleveland. I'm not going to... Okay. Come on, Ari, that sounds absolutely fascinating. Uh, the, a world record of 1.5 million helium balloons. That can only end poorly. That can only end poorly. Okay, good. So when I'm eating it, it gives me meat. That's exactly what I wanted. That is perfect. Um, Quixa made a hilarious... I went there on the day there. Are you serious, Bam? That's cool. Um, so Quixa, is that a YouTube person? Uh, let me take that as well. Okay. Though, it's so funny. So you guys know the, um, the world record. So, like, the Guinness World Record book, right? Do you know how that actually started? Um, because that was a, um, it started in the 1950s as a promotional, um, basically book from Guinness the Beer marketed at aiming, uh, aiming to end pub fights. So, basically, when people would end a pub, get into a dispute about I don't know who had the longest kick ever in football or something. Um, there was no way for people to look it up because 1950s Google didn't exist yet. Um, and so Guinness was like, uh, like the people who worked for Guinness were like, oh, this is a really clever promotional thing. And they made it and it was so popular. People were like, we love this. And it actually just ended up becoming its own entity, which I hey think there. is super duper Beautiful. neat. Yes, I'd like to see your wares. Sure. Uh, can I sell human meat to people in this game? Um, I will try the 9mm eventually. Um, okay, I want to keep that, I think. Uh, you can take that, you can take that. How many caps do you have? You have a fair few. Uh, I want to keep any of my aid as well. Um, I want bobby pins, definitely. Uh, for now, I think I'll sell the dog hide, because it has weight on it. And I can always get that back 
sell the golden gecko. I'll just sell the hides. I don't think they're that major. And you can have the whetstone and the wonder glue. I, I can get this stuff back later. Okay. Um. And Fax him and uh, Carl Smallwood are a great source of random facts. Uh, <laughs> I am, I am a, a great source of what, a, what on earth is happening there. Um, <laughs> but those are interesting. I'll probably add them to my own. I do really love learning about it. Uh, hello, Jeep. How's it going? I hope it's going well. We are just uh, traveling the wasteland eating people um, on our quest to try and find the next area. Which it keeps, it feels like it keeps being moved up. And now we have the chopper, so we have to try that out. Yay! Uh, much serotonin was to be had by all. Grab a cup of serotonin, everyone, and drink down. <laughs> Thank you so much there, Bev. That's That was very generous of you. Thank you, the bits. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the, the serotonin, yes. Serotonin was had by all. Yeah, awesome carbonara. Definitely do. Um, I will look forward to it. Uh, no, the, um, links to any of the stuff like that, that is perfectly fine. There's, um, I'm actually considering adding an actual YouTube channel specifically for people just to post YouTube videos, um, of things that people might find interesting. Which, Barry, if you have a moment, uh, I, something I was meant to talk to you about, but did you want to just anyway set that judgment. up? Oh my, Rudy Tootie point and shooty. Um, so you want me to go guns then? Uh, okay, weapon ability. Is there a gun you specifically want? Um... I can try the, the, I guess I'll go Magnum for now, but let me know if there's a gun you want specifically, Launch, and I can change to it. Um, goodbye, Chopper. Oh, gosh. Let's see the 10 millimeter. You want to see the 10 millimeter? Okay. Uh, so that is our weathered 10 millimeter pistol. Let's go. All right. I can hear danger coming, so it's very much that, that meme of, I'm in danger. Uh, okay. I'm assuming that this is where we want to be going. Go guns blazing, just straight up shooting, not even a question, just, just out we go. Um, but yes, Barry, if you, because I was going to say to you, if you wanted just to set up a YouTube channel where people could just post actual clips to, to different things from YouTube, like channels that they want to share, because um, I think there's a lot of channels that people know about that I think it'd be neat to share. Um, oh gosh. All right, so nothing's happening, but don't worry, don't worry, I will find someone and we will... We will kill them with our gun. Well, hopefully with our gun. That is that is all we can hope for. Now, come on, let's go, Jeff. You can do it, dang it. Um, yeah, like a community playlist thing. So, like, basically, if somebody has a channel that they're really a big fan of, of YouTube, you could just post it there and be like, hey, I think you guys might get a kick out of this person. Um, there's an outpost behind me. Do I want to murder them or miss that? I'm not sure which one. Sh I know, right? I will find someone someday to shoot. Um... Like, I guess I can go touch them. There's nothing against me going and just touching the fellows. Um, let's go investigate then. Well, hello, I've come here to touch you with my gun. How are you going? This won't end terribly at all. Um, that's up to... No, that's okay if you... Let's let's see if I can find it. I, I just didn't see anyone moving about, so I was like, oh, there's nobody here. It's just an abandoned place. Um, so Jeff didn't see murder, so Jeff didn't go towards it. <laughs> okay, actually, <laughs> that so reminds me of... Um, who discovered Ranger Station Charlie. Um, have you guys ever heard of the uh, Kakapoa? It's a, oh. Oh, nobody's murdering. I'm sure you should be here. Oh, okay. All right, nobody's murdering, so I'll come back here later, just because it doesn't look like a murder fest right now, and I want to get this gun for lunch done. I want to, I want to shoot somebody for lunch. Um, the weird thing about that sentence is for Jeff, it works even if you don't know I'm talking about something in chat. Like, you don't know I'm talking about Lunch Snake. Just saying, I need Jeff to go shoot something for lunch. Like, shoot someone for lunch is, is very applicable. Um, how about finishing the game? It doesn't matter who you kill if you care about... No, I know, Bam. I just don't want to necessarily go insanely just murder everything I see. I do want to at least have some legitimacy behind, behind it. Um... Can't wait till you dress up as a cowboy and pull out the big iron on your hip. <laughs> dress up as the, the the cowboy cowgirl. I get what you mean, Sovi. That would be great. Just like unholster. It's high noon, everybody. Um. Oh my good lord. I think this is, this is like quite some time we've gone without finding a singular enemy. Novak neutral. Of course they're neutral. Everyone's neutral. Hello, death. Would you would you like to come for us now, death? Um. 
I'm very tasty. No? Okay. Right, um, so while we're doing that, and I'm trying to find something to slaughter, to discover 15 out of 50 locations. Oh, cool, we're getting along then. Um, well, we'll keep moving there. Oh, was that the caravan I was fo following briefly? Okie dokie. Uh, I bet if I go into the wasteland, I'll find something, won't I? Let, look, look, you know what I do? Okay, so it's about 10 p.m. This is about when I do finish my stream anyway. Um, so, what I will do is I'm going to do a hard save. And congratulations, Lunch Snake. You have picked the weapon for our first ever Jeffercide. Does anyone have anywhere they would like me to go to commit our first ever Jeffercide time? Because it is time for us to do a Jeffercide. So um, whilst you guys think of an area that we have on the map, uh, let me just bring that back up. These are the discovered areas we have. I cannot zoom out anymore. For those of you who do not know what a Jeffercide is, um, not every single time, but in a lot of the streams, what will happen is once in a fallout, when we are wrapping it up and we're finished, we do a Jefferside. What that means is I warp to some location. You guys tend to get to pick the weapon. In this case, Lunch Snake gets it for um, for redeeming the change weapon. And we try and kill as many NPCs as possible um, before they kill Jeff. So the rule is Jeff's not allowed to heal during it, but Jeff does all the drugs she can beforehand. And we start with a weapon and we keep on going. It's a lot more fun early on when Jeff isn't overpowered or when you don't have big bad daddy forks coming in to clean up the murder for you but yes where would you like us to go hotel office uh hang on yeah hotel office hotel office um kill all of prim or the hotel office she deserves it. hotel office where is hotel office like i know where prim is uh hotel office is that in prim uh ranger wolfhorn nipton Hey, the hotel office is in, in no Oh, it's in Novak. So you want me to... Oh, okay. Well, I'm here already. Time to just start shooting then. Uh, so... Oh, the dinosaur. Oh, and a dinosaur. Oh, okay. Hang on. And so... Hotel is somewhere down here, I take it? This this thing? Uh, yeah, I miss Daddy Forks too. Okay. This says the front desk. With nobody here. Oh, that's so cool. We get it. Okay, hang on. I think because it's night time. So let's wait until day and then everyone will be out and about doing things. I think I just waited until night again because I'm silly and just went 19 hours, um, which was very foolish. But that's all right. We can wait a few more hours afterwards. Unless my math is very terribly there. Uh, make him first. And Victor, make him first. <laughs> Pam's like, get Victor. Get him now. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Oh, wow, she's actually fighting back. Oh, my... You gained good karma? What? I... Is, does the game finally understand me? That's amazing. I gained good karma. Now I am so curious. Okay, I see what you mean. The 10 millimeter is a bit more powerful. No, Novak infamy gained. All right, here they come. Oh, I should have done drugs. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Next, I don't think we had many in on us anyway. All right, here we go. There, oh, yeah, no, I know drama. It's just that there's no, like, since I, I don't save on the Jeffer side, I, um, I won't ping it just yet. Uh, when I, when I come back next time, I'll, I'll make sure to definitely ping it. But thank you for pointing it out. Um, don't take the dinos. There are thousands. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come on, Jeff, you can do it. Let's go. Oh, Victor is by the gate. Uh, hang on. Oh, wow. She just took a bullet straight to the head. Well, not that time. Um, vilified for your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior. You've become vilified by the community. What a shock. Are you guys just not doing anything? Wow. I am shocked at the fact that nobody... Dr. Adastra... What? You're a doctor? Apparently she's fine. Oh, my. There you go. They're starting to fight back. They're not a very fighty town, are they? Huh. All right. This 10 millimeter seems a little OP. I feel a, a, a bit more powerful than I, I think I should. Where is Victor? I, I will... By the gates, you said? Um. Right. Normally, uh, in a Jefferside, there's a lot more people running at me. Um. That was cut. Oh, okay. Please aim. <laughs> This bam is why we use the vats. Um, I am not seeing... Oh my god, of course we level up. It doesn't matter what we, we put anything into here. 
uh, since we won't be saving this one, so I'll just... Done. Uh, I'm not seeing our dear friend Victor. But that's alright. Um, they, they were gates. So, I guess that that's everyone though. Oh no, there he is! Gosh dang it. Hi, Victor. Maybe you can win this fight, Victor. Here you go, Bam. Death just for you. We're taking on here the cowboy. Perhaps Victor is the one that will actually manage to kill Jeff. Let's find out together, everyone. Oh, there you go. Victor won. Victor won the fight and has officially ended the Jefferside. Well, that was a spot of fun. I don't know about you guys, uh, but that was that was quite nice. I, the town of Novak are very, very weak people, but um, yeah, their their robot guardian that definitely worked for them. So so he was able to help them out there. Let me just put that on. Um, but yes, so um, <clears throat> super duper thanks for everyone who uh watched and joined in and anyone who was um like commenting and stuff and uh you guys who um followed in that and again thank you leo not sure if you're still um watching or gone to bed but again thank you so much for the sub there um to the community that was very super cool um but yeah so i do hope uh that mother mother had a i need healing <laughs> Well played, Sphinx. Well played. Um, but yes, thank you all so much um, for joining me on this. Uh, New Vegas, I know it's early days. We're just part two out of part however this is going to go for. But um, it is just so very, very awesome so far. And I'm having so much fun. And it's a true joy to be able to share the crazy journey of Jeff with you all. Um, like we said, if you want to um, if you want to see more of me, like you want to know when I... I uh, stream next um i go i stream every tuesday thursday saturday sunday it's sunday where i am now um sunday tuesday thursday i stream 8 p.m till 10 p.m and on saturdays i stream at 1 30 p.m till 16 30 p.m if you just hit my about page it's in the about and um it will translate the time to whichever corner of the the world that you happen to be inhabiting right now um and if you want to talk to me or anybody else in the community uh well, a lot of the people from the community as well um offline feel free to join the discord they're super we're like super friendly um we're very active as well um we've just started doing uh let's watch and we often will play video games as well together um so just feel free to join us in there um but uh let me make sure i'm not missing anything yeah <laughs> Awesome. Um, but I do super duper hope that you all have a fantastic rest of the time zone, wherever you are. Um, and just very quickly before I do go, when I do stream next, which will be this Tuesday, it's actually going to be Doom instead of Fallout. I stream Fallout just on the weekends usually. So it will be Doom the 2016 game this coming Tuesday. Um, and it will be the first part of that. So that should be a lot of fun, killing demons. Um, but yes, anyway, have a fantastic rest of your time zone, wherever you are. Bye.